Sass, are the Lakers copying the Sixers? Absolutely not. I mean, listen, it, the two aren't even e e equatable. I mean, it, it's an insult to the Los Angeles Lakers to put them in the same breath um, as, as the Philadelphia 76ers. You know, the, just the mere acquisitions of Timothy Moskov and Luau Dang, as idiotic as it may have been for the Lakers to invest approximately $130 million in those two players alone, let's understand that these are individuals that have been in the league for quite a while. And by mere virtue of the fact that you had a veteran on the roster, what you were saying is we're trying to do something. It's just that Jim Buss didn't know what the hell he was doing, and Mitch Kupchak followed suit because he didn't want to lose his job, even though he ended up losing his job anyway because he followed the wrong horse. Here's the reality of the situation. The Philadelphia 76ers, when Doug Collins was there, after Doug Collins departed for the 34 and 48 season in 2012-2013, the Philadelphia 76ers, 76ers systematically went about the business of losing games on purpose. They said to their audience, the paying customer, we're going to stink, we don't care, because it's about championship or nothing. It's not about an 82-game season. It's not about providing, you know, some sports entertainment. It's not about being competitive or anything like that. We're going to stink for years, not one season, for years. They didn't add veterans to their squad. They didn't sit up there and provide the proper level of tutelage. They even hired a coach of Brett Brown, who I like and who a lot of coaches respect, but he had never had any head coaching experience before. There were novices everywhere. It was so alarming that the commissioner, Adam Silver, had to get directly involved and ultimately facilitate the 76ers bringing Jerry Colangelo on board, one of the elite basketball minds this game has ever seen, and ultimately he hired his son, who's not a GM, who, by the way, is doing decent, but some people would say needs to do a better job. But the point is they're striving to move in the right direction as opposed to tanking seasons. In the Philadelphia, in the Los Angeles Lakers case, they just didn't get it right. They just didn't get it right. But they weren't tanking seasons. They weren't looking at their fan base and saying, we're going to lose on purpose. They weren't looking at them and saying, we don't give a damn about the entertainment value or anything like that. Come, let's take your money, and we're going to give you a sorry product year after year after year. The two things are diametrically opposed to one another. The Philadelphia 76ers are on an elevated level because, as I said repeatedly, Max, there are plenty of organizations where you can find the latter part of one particular season where they've lost. It wasn't to their advantage to win games and want to position themselves for the lottery, etc. You can't find anybody that lost for years on purpose and didn't give a damn like the Philadelphia 76. 76 was so bad, Max. I actually went on Philadelphia radio, Mike Missanelli, Angelo Cataldi, and all the people that I worked in Philadelphia because I was right for the Philadelphia Inquirer for 17 years. I actually caught the damn city out and told them that I was ashamed of them as contemporaries in this business for tolerating the level of ineptitude that they tolerated from the Philadelphia 76. That's how bad it got.